This is Justin with The Conspiracy Theorist. Enjoy this episode. Good evening. You're listening to WJHS's one and only Conspiracy Theories podcast. And today, we've got a bit of a fun one. We're going to be talking about how The Simpsons predicts the future, what that could mean, and is it actually true? Well, to just start, we're going to explain why this is even a discussion. So a lot of people talk about how The Simpsons can predict the future because a lot of their episodes portray something that then happened later. Uh, there was like the Donald Trump being elected, and then there was a few scenes of like clips of him on an elevator or um, on an escalator that The Simpsons had portrayed, and um, they kind of mentioned that. So like, I guess the discussion for us to have is like, what does that, what does that mean if The Simpsons can predict the future? Um, yeah, on this topic, I think it's very interesting just because like the amount of things they predicted. You know what I'm saying, Isaac? Yeah. I have a list here of 20 different things that's been listed. I don't know if that's the exact I think we're on the same list. Yeah. This is the first one, uh, submarine disaster. Well, 20. Yeah. Uh, wait, they predicted the submarine disaster? Yeah, that's the more recent kind of one, too. That's really recent. What? It's like, I guess, like, the theories I've heard, like, because you can't really deny that it happened. So I think, like, most of the theories that I've seen is, like, um, it kind of plays into, like, the elite um, and, you know, some people talk about, like, it's how they warn people or something about what they're going to do or something like that before doing it. I, don't, I mean, obviously, if that's true, then The Simpsons is a lot more than, like, a lighthearted TV show. Um, what do you guys think? I think there might be someone that is higher up that works with The Simpsons. Yeah, there's uh, a few um, things on the Internet that say The Simpsons creator has a deep connection with an elite and foretelling uh, like group. So just like, I don't know, this kind of shows, or other people have thought about uh, this theory before. It's also a big list of like, that's a lot of coincidences. Yeah, which is what I was saying, like you can't really deny it. Yeah, and they predict things such as like, um, the malfunctioning of voter machines for like the election, like that's, that's just so like, nobody would even think of that. And they predicted it, you know what I mean? I also think it makes people wonder about the future, too. Because, like, if they're predicting stuff right now in the current episode, people will wonder what's going to happen in three months based on what they say. Or, like, they're going to see something in an episode and wonder when that's going to happen, you know? Like, if that'll become a true thing. And most episodes are just goofy little, like, like uh, skits and stuff. Right, but but like, some of them get really, like, into it. It's like the, the economy and stuff. That's so. the thing, too, is, like, how do we know which one is them telling us what's going to happen? And the other thing I would say is, like, we can talk about how there's, like, some kind of elite group or whatever. But, like, my question for that would be if they are planning these things, because not all of the things they've predicted have been good, then why would they tell us they were going to do it? Like the pandemic one. Exactly. Like, they, if they predicted the pandemic, why would they tell us and not just like tell us like why would they hint at it or else like because i guess what i'm thinking here is like if they are planning it and they want it to happen why tell us and if they want us to know so we can be prepared why not just tell us all the way maybe there's like a it's like a messaging system like that's the only way they can get the higher ups can get the message across the higher ups that care about us you know or maybe it truly is just a coincidence me personally, I think there's too many of these coincidences. Laser, oh my gosh. All right, so like, what should we do with that then? Like, if it is, I guess just keep up with the Simpsons, you know? That's crazy. Like, do they, do they still film episodes? Do they still animate episodes? Yeah, it's still going. They just released a new season. Stop. I'm going to have to start watching. That's crazy. (laughs) Thank you for listening to our Conspiracy Theorist podcast on WJHS. And please stay tuned for another episode later on.